過ぎた季節が嘘だとしても重ねたぬくもりは嘘じゃない君が残した背中の傷はとは今もずっと甘くてだからずっと痛くて Yo, what it do, you guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, back with you with another new chapter of Fate Unlimited DXD. This is it. And in the last part, I find we start to begin a new original arc. This won't be that of a long arc, unlike the other ones. This will be my own personal, my own personal original arc. This is it. This arc is that of. Shiro versus one of the one of the grand class servants. In this, after the raiding game, Shiro's life has gone back to normal. However, now with Rius living with him, wanting to get closer to the man she began to fall in love with. However, Rainer is not happy about this. That, well, Rius is wanting to get closer and closer to Shiro. Not only that, Shiro also. After helping out Rius in her training, is decided to help out Sona in her peerage with her training as well, not wanting her to, well, fall behind, unlike the others. With, however, during this time, the, hero- the counter guardian begins to be stalked by somebody in the shadows. This somebody ends up being Romulus, the Grand Lancer servant of the. Of the thir- Of the throne of heroes, as he was、uh, as he was given command by that of Gaia to kill Shiro to prevent the counterforce to connecting to the world that he's in, not wanting to die to have those that he now s e e as his new friends and new loved ones sadden, he decides to fight back against his former comrade of Caldea. So, with all that said. Let's get into this, shall we, guys? Chapter 11 Old Memories, New Battles. On the top of, Kuo, of the town of Kuo's rooftops, with clashes of bright red, clings of blades being striked at each other, and continues to shine across the quaint, relaxing city town that is Kuo. Currently, right now, Shiro. AKA Heroic Spirit Emia begins fighting against Romulus, the Grand, Sir- Grand Lancer class servant. As the two continue to clash with Romulus using his noble phantasm, known as the Aura of, of Ares, which allows him to manipulate his, own, his mana energy and to create that of blades la- and spears and lances from his, from his mana alone. And being that of a Grand Class. A grand, a grand servant, his power is basically limitless. Chosen to be one of the strongest servants throughout the entirety of the throne of heroes. As for Shiro, he continues trying to use Bakia and Kinshiro, as soon Romulus can t- throwing more and more energy, mana like energy spears right at him. He soon ditches one, either one of his blades as he stalks power mana within one of the blades as it soon explodes. Causing a dust cloud, giving Shiro at least enough time to strike to have that of a sneak attack. However, Romulus expects this as he creates another spear of, of mana, of mana, with then soon he blocks the attacks with as the two continue to deadlock and clash. With then Shiro getting somewhat annoyed at this as Romulus couldn't help but feel. Not even caring. As, not o- as since this is, the grand, this is the grand servant Romulus, not the original three, lower rank Romulus, with, that, was a lot, that was more, well, positive, festive, and has, a bit of a, and has a bit of a more of a sense of humor. No, this Romulus is, more, is all serious, all, all determination. This is the Romulus that knows what he must do, as not just as an Not just as a servant, but as a king, 
as an emperor, as a demigod, with then Sood saying, how long do you plan on allowing this? The old you would have allowed me to strike you down right here and now if it meant that you can piss off Aliyah. What? Why stop me? The old you would have enjoyed being being killed over and over again to atone for his sins of the, of the past that he felt like he caused for the pain and misery and broken promise that you made with the Shiro remembering his past as a counter guardian when he first became a counter guardian about all the lives he has taken, all the lives he prevented, he could have prevented all the lot, all the innocent people he killed all in the sake of protecting humanity from their own faults for their own path to self-destruction. And yet none, none of it. He can never run away from any of it. As long as he is a counter guardian, as long as Aliyah wants him, that's all he is, a tool for her and the will of humanity. But soon he also remembers about being in this world, about having that second chance of being himself again, but not falling into the same mistakes that he did before, that he has people who care about him, people who somewhat understand what he's going through, but also don't at the same time, as he continues hiding the fact on who he really is, or rather, what he is, after all. Even, to, even giving them the half-truth about him being a counter-guardian. Even so, with then, Shiro couldn't help but scream out, because, like I said before, I have something, something I don't want to give up on just yet. With then, getting out of the deadlock, would soon th throwing his last his last blade of his of his minor noble phantasm being Bakuya with then as he it's already stored with that of mana as then Romulus just bats it away with his energy spear as it soon explodes into the air before soon he felt the mana warping around him with then soon the mana beginning to shift and transform around as Archer begins to use his projection magic to trace a weapon, a weapon he's been fun he is quite familiar with, a weapon that he's seen so many damn times throughout his entire lifetime, not just as that of Shiro Emiya or even that of Heroic Spirit Emiya, but he's always seen, he's seen this person use it and remembers what its form every single time no matter what no matter where he goes as then soon it begins to materialize and form with it soon show its its glow its its radiant glow as then a crimson bright aura soon shines across it as then shiro says trace on with then it fully materializes as the as it being a red spear of pure crimson, as it shows the bloodlust and power radiating off of it, as the aura alone is basically suffocating to a weaker person. But to somebody like Shiro and Romulus, they've handled stuff like this on a daily with then soon all the devils across Kuo, some mysterious visitors as well, and also Rius and Rainer also began to feel this pressure, the pressure of pure bloodlust, wanting to bite down and strike at anyone that comes across this weapon. With then, Romulus basically couldn't help but smile saying, oh ho, now this is interesting. So you've basically brought the Mad Dog's weapon, Ireland's Child of Lights, Ku Cullen's Gay Bolg. With, I'm not, well, I'm not completely surprised. After all, out of all the heroic spirits, he was one of your greatest rivals. With then, soon, Shiro saying, shut it. As much as I don't want to deal with this bastard, even though, even the, orig even the original Shiro me still kind of hates the guy. I mean, the bastard stabbed me three times, three times before I became a master. Seriously. 
You just don't work. You just can't forget that shit and have a and just have continue having a grudge. With then, soon Rama saying, "Are you sure it's because? Are you sure that the ma- the other reason is because he tries to hit on Ren on a daily basis?" With then soon, Shiro, Shiro's eyes whining as he grips the gay bulb tightly, saying, "Either you shut up, or I'm going to stick this spear where the sh- where the sun doesn't shine." Uh, soon, Romulus can up and say, Oh boy, I think the old me is starting to come back out again. That was not a good time. With Soon getting into a battle stance have, as he has his his energy spear behind him. With then Soon, Shiro getting in the same stance as, well, sh- as Ku Cullen before Soon going, da- going down to the ground of the... Bi- of the rooftop that they're on with as the stance that he's in almost looks like that of a dog or of a hound preparing to pounce on his foe as then Shiro pounce, rushing towards his foe at full speed at even creating a massive crater behind him from his foot from his foot alone with then soon both their blows begin begin to clash once again however Due to Shiro's immense strength and might, sending as the two were sent flying down across Kuo, with them they began heading to a familiar, a familiar spot in Kuo, heading to the old church, the old church. Before, however, it's still quite destroyed. After all, because of Barakil's actions, with then. Coming out of the dust cloud is the two hero, the two heroic spirits. Within, they begin to clash once again as both spears pier- try to pierce one and pierce their foe, with it, with constantly spinning them around before striking. S- Shiro stepping away multiple times, finding a good vantage point and blind spot to strike at the fir- at the first emperor of Rome. But then, however, Romulus. Not even caring too much, basically blocks e- each and every strike with his energy spear, even using his own his own his own arms and sk- and even feet to even stop it. Not even break not even breaking a sweat to do so, even with that immense power of having the gay bulk in his hands. It's not the true gay bulk though. With then Shiro trying to catch his breath, with saying. But then Ryan is saying, uh, you done well to copy the, the, the Ch- Ireland's Child of Light's fighting style quite a bit, Emia. However, even though you've learned his fighting style, even though you're able to copy even the pressure of that, of that spear alone, it's not the true noble phantasm itself. With then Shiro gritting his teeth and that of annoyance, saying, you may... You're cons- out of all of the heroic spirits that 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 dwell within the throne of heroes, you are considered to be the fake hero, the false hero, mostly because you're able to copy any type of hero any type of weapon from a heroic spirit, no matter what. You even still have them. Hell, even a minor noble phantasm, you can make it your own, such as your such as your your iconic blades, the yin yang blades of Bakuyan Kinshira. With soon, Shiro continue getting back into a battle stance with the with the mana from Gay Bowl continue to burst. But then Romulus taking a sigh saying, but even so, you can't use the true noble phantasm of Gay Bowl being the ability to strike, to strike dead point at your opponent. Or even using his noble phantasm to allow to allow you to destroy to allow you to destroy anything that comes in contact with the spear. So, so you know you are at a huge disadvantage. With then soon, Romulus begins to feel the pulse of Gay Bolg. However, as he realized that he, Shiro is about to use. Gay Bull's noble phantasm with soon Sh- Rama saying, what? But 
That's impossible. You're not supposed to. Zing, Alaya gave me a bit of an upgrade, unlocking almost all of the noble phantasms I have copied throughout my years of, as that of Shiro Emiya her, and Heroic Spirit Emiya as well. All of the Holy Grail Wars I've been a part of, I now I'm able to access their noble phantasms without breaking a sweat. Unfortunately, I still can't use Gilgamesh's sword, so that's will one downside. But other than that, this bastard spear is it's no longer just a copy. It's truly my spear now. With soon Romulus completely and utterly shocked about this, with then sued him as his mana begins to burst into a crimson aura as he dispersed his energy spear with then soon Shiro screams out now take this gay bog with soon pierce thrusting the spear as a red energy soon comes from the blade comes from the from the iconic spear with then heading straight for Romulus's heart before, as before it could strike, with then a, pure, a crimson red aura begins to engulf Romulus. With then that aura begins to dissipate before sending Shiro back on backwards. However, he still stands on his feet, preparing to strike back whenever he can. With soon the aura dies down, showing Romulus. In his true form, in his true form, with that of pure golden armor, with even that of golden wings that seem like that of a majestic angel, with his mana basically going past its lim his limits. With soon, Shiro saying, "Damn it! So he's even start. He's really starting to go out on me now. Great. I guess I should." With then soon, Shiro. Romulus basically goes down, reverts back to his basic golden armor before saying, we'll settle this another time. Think, what? Why are you? I would take you on, but we have a little bit of company. And unlike, and even though I want to kill you, I'd rather not involve innocence unless it's, unless I get the perfect opportunity to, to take you down. And I don't like to be overwhelmed even if it is by weak mortals. With then, soon Romulus walks away. With then, Shiro saying, you think I'm just gonna let you just sit by and do whatever the hell you want? Saying, you have no other choice but to. You may be a counter guardian and a counter guardian who now has access to all the noble phantasms he's copied, but you're still not stronger than a grand class servant. You're still weaker than me. Shiro Emiya with then Shiro gritting his teeth in that of annoyance at the arrogance of this man. But then Romulus Skinner would say, but that's not a bad thing. You're still strong, but I'm still stronger. Even so, let us, we'll meet again. And once we meet again, we'll be going to battle and one of us will lose our lives. With then soon, Romulus jumps into the air as he soon turns into red energy and disappears. With then soon, a several figures begin to appear as it being Rius and Rainer alongside Sona, Tsubaki, Kiba, and even Konako and Tomoe as well. With then soon, Sona saying, Shiro, Shiro-kun, what are you doing here? With then Ri saying, you didn't call. What happened? And what just, are you fighting somebody? With then Rainer running towards Shiro saying, Master Shiro, are you okay? Please tell me you're okay. Are you, do you have any injuries? With then soon Shiro basically shaking his head saying, I'm fine. I just fought somebody who was suspicious. He tried to kill. Um, unfortunately, he was the reason why my phone was broken, so I couldn't call. Right after, with then Tsubaki saying, Shir Emiyakun, are you sure you're okay? You don't seem so. With then 
Shiro Kun looks at Tsubaki as he gives that of a comforting smile. However, it's a fake comforting smile saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. You have nothing to worry about, Shinra-san. With soon, Tsubaki heard Shiro call her by her last name with then realizing that Shiro's never called her by her last name before. He always called her Tsubaki, but then, but now, with Soon, Sona also noticed this as well. But then Tomoe saying, Hey, uh, Senpai, can you ask, can I ask who would you fighting against by any chance? With then Shiro thinking deeply about this before saying it's some random, ex he was a random exorcist. Nothing to worry about. With then soon, so within Rhea saying, a stray exorcist? Then we need to, don't worry, I've already taken care of him. You have nothing to worry about. Basically obliterated him. So let's go. With then seeing the tone of Shiro, all of them could be shocked before soon Konako grabs onto, Shir onto Shiro's sh holy shroud, even though the cloak. Even though the red cloak is somewhat burning her, she doesn't care. With then, Shiro saying, Konako, you gotta let go. If you don't, my shroud, you do know this shroud is filled with holy energy, then you need to. Please, Senpai, if there's something wrong, you would tell us, right? You wouldn't keep secrets from us, right? With then, looking at the eyes of the young, Nekumata that he sees as that of a little as a new little sister with then Shiro clenching his left fist and out of frustration before soon saying you got nothing to worry about I promise I'll tell you guys what happened just gotta give me some time I need to head back home after all well, after saying this soon Shiro heads back home as he soon disappears and that's of a blinding speed. With then, Rhea saying, That's, that's not like Shiro. That's not like Shiro Kun at all. With then, Sona saying, So I wasn't the only one imagining it. Especially since he called Tsubaki by her last name. He doesn't say that. He always, even if he does call, he always calls us by our first name, even if it, even in a form of respect. That's not. What's what ha who was he really fighting against? With well, soon Rainer can help but worry about the man that she sees as her master and her first true love, other than Azazel. With then she's saying, Master Shiro. At soon, right after that incident against that of Romulus, Shiro has been a little bit distant from everybody. He's he's still been helping out people and looking after others, even still taking care of the perverted trio as always. But he seems like more distant from others, like he's looking farther from what people are seeing and he's not truly there. Hell, he doesn't even care about when Kiba basically glares at him every time he sees at him. Right now, Shiro's only thoughts is about what Romulus said. About killing him is the only way to disconnect the counterforce from this world. Especially about the fact that this is the only world of the era of the gods never tr where it never ended and it never caused the world and humanity's destruction. Proving that this this is one of the few worlds where the era where gods and humanity can live in harmony with each other. And seeing how this world operates especially on how the devils basically live normal lives with that of humans, even without them even knowing about their existence. It still, it seems like what Romulus said was true. But then thinking, maybe, maybe I should die. Maybe I should be killed. I mean, sure, this world has its problems. I could still, especially about how the devils see that of hum that of reincarnated devils and even humans too. But that was just Riser, for example. But then there's the fallen angels. 
I mean, Rainer was not a prime example on how, how po on how much she looks down on humans. Unfortunately, well, it's a good thing she has that of a well power domination fetish after all. So she kind of switched up a little bit before I stepped in. But then, however, I haven't seen that of the Angel faction. I haven't know what they're or the church either. But knowing the church back in my timeline and, and how they act in, up, in other Lost Belts, they're basically no good. They basically trouble is any timeline, no matter where I go. With then soon thinking, you know, I need to stop thinking about this. Tomorrow I'll be focusing on Sona, on Sona's Pierce's training. And when I see what they're capable of, I should be able to find a good schedule for them, even without me helping them out. So, I need to spend my time, help, I need to spend my weekend at least trying to look after them before, th before things get, he get hectic once again. Before soon, thinking Romulus, you haven't changed one bit. I mean, sure, actually, being a Grandcaster, actually pretty changed up a lot. You used to be a bit of a jokester and a bit of a party boy back in the day, but now becoming a grand caster, gaining the power, gaining your divine power once again, showing them why you were the true emperor of Rome and, and the son of Ares and why you should be feared. Yeah, I now I'm reminded why you're a dangerous foe, especially being a Grandcaster, with soon thinking, if I recall, Grandcasters and Counter Guardians are the closest thing that can rival one another. I may be a low-ranking Counter Guardian, but even so, Counter, Gu Counter Guardians that face against each other are even a are able to destroy an entire timeline's continent. If I were, man, back then, things were never that. Things are never so simple and easy for me, aren't they? As much as I want them to be. With then soon thinking about this, Shiro, Shiro could help but sigh at the fact about that, about what he's going through before soon standing up and then thinking, I shouldn't have to worry about this. If I'm going, I'm a counter guardian and right now I'm enjoying my life as that of Shiro Emiya again. And I don't want to ruin that. And I don't want to drag them into my own problems. With then soon a, a voice saying that basically makes you a damn hypocrite when you involve yourself into their problems. With then Shiro hearing this saying, what the? That voice. That, wait a minute. With soon he goes into his own reality marvel. Still seeing the connection between him and Aliyah especially the counterforce, as it's still at the same half percent that it was before, with then soon looking around as he looks into the great, into the barren desert wasteland of, so, of swords, of, of the grave swords that he made to remind him of his past sins, with then look, saying, here, I'm right here, with then soon he sees him as it being, Another Shiro Emiya saying, "You, why are you? You're a stoop. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Not always getting involved in other people's problems, but not letting other people involve be involved with your own. You never change, don't you, Emiya?" Saying, "Of course you would say that. After all, you're basically the version of me that is counter guard that ma that makes up the counter guardian me, who who does nothing but loathe in his own self hatred." Saying, and you know why, you know why we loathe in this hatred of this self hatred of ours, of the past sins we have committed, the lives we have taken, and the so for the so called preservation and safety of humanity. With then saying, I get it, I absolutely get it. However, we're our counter guardians, and not only that, these are de these are just young devils. They still don't know anything about the dangers of what could come to this world. They're still naive and they don't need to be, they need to live their lives. They need to be prepared 
they don't need to be thrust into situations where they where they shouldn't. Yeah, we get that. Was then seeing another another version of himself as a being the Shiro Emiya version of him, red hair and all, red hair and golden eyes and all, with then saying, "Not even you." Look, I get it. Involving, even I'm the same way. I agree with you. Not involving them is a good thing, but not telling them the truth on what's going to ha- what's what's going to happen to you around you isn't going to. It's not going to. Ca- it's going to cause trouble. You already ha- you already told them a half truth about you being a counter guardian. Do you want to continue? Do you want to continue hiding things and lying to them? By this time, you've already noticed that many of them are worried about you, especially Rias, Rainer, Momo, Subaki, and S- and Sona. Especially that Konako girl as well. Do you want to continue forcing them to to worry about you? With then. Shiro couldn't help but grit his teeth, saying, Then what the hell do you both want me to do? With then soon, heroic spirit Shiro couldn't help but say, Do what you... Stop being a damn hypocrite. Allow them into your life if you want. Tell them the truth. But do so, and they'll basically see, see you as nothing but of a liar, a monster, a, a nothing but a, mi- but a murderer... A murdering killing machine. With then Shiro saying, "Tell, at least tell the other. At least try and tell them somewhat, and why you can't tell. Why you can't tell them everything. At least try and tell them about Romulus and why he's after you. And after that, they can make their own decisions. They can decide what they want for themselves. Isn't that what we do? Isn't that what makes us who we are?" With then listening to all of them, as then Shiro, the Shiro Emiya that is that is now looks over the past, all of the situations of his pat of his heroic self and his past self, before soon saying, "I really hate you both at the same time." You know that, as both of you have good points, but the other point, but but the other you. Are, stu- are goddamn idiots in the situation at hand. You're too blinded about everything that you've all been through instead of understanding what we're have to go through. With then, soon, saying, and now you get it. With then, soon, Shiro saying, what? With heroic saying, you you get it. You get it that our... So- that the self-hatred and pain of basically constantly living in the past and lives you couldn't save is, ba- is caused nothing but pain. However, you've learned to get over it and realize that there are some people you can save, some people you can protect. With then soon, younger Shiro could help but say, and you realize that sometimes you have to take a life. Sometimes you have to kill even those who you hope that you once thought of as human and that you close to must die as well. You know the fa- you ha- you know that some that think that tough choices like that have to be done if it means protecting those in need. That's why you are the better version of both of us. The version of you that understands everything about our pain, our misery, our joy, our dreams, our hopes. With then soon, Shiro saying, "You're right. I do get it. I absolutely do. And l- at least listening to you guys, you you annoying pieces of shit, have opened my eyes. So let's just hope that we don't have to go through this shit again. Because talking to the both of you is nothing but a damn headache." With soon, both of them saying, "Same here." With then both of them look at each other before having that of glaring eyes as young as young Shiro glares at him with then heroic spirit Shiro just scoffs at the fact of of his younger self glaring at him before the one before as the one that embodies the embodies all Shiro throughout every timeline in reality 
couldn't help but laugh at this, at the antics of his past and heroic self before saying, all right, I'll tell at least Sona this. And then after that, I'll tell Rius. I won't tell them everything, but I will tell them about Romulus and about why he's after me. At least after that, I know whatever they decide, I'll find a way to protect them. I'll find a, and I won't, and I won't hesitate on killing Romulus. After all, saying this, he soon gets out of his reality marvel and no longer hears his other selves before soon leaving Kuo. After that, the next day, Shiro began to get his workout clothes and messages Sona and and telling her peerage about the area, um, about the places and where they need to meet for their training session, as there is a pretty good place outside of Kuo where they can f have a good training session. After messaging this, soon Shiro was about to leave. With then Rhea saying, "Shiro, can we talk?" With then. Shiro sees the crimson-haired, busty, young, young teenage woman with Rainer see, seeing her master as well, worried for him. But then Shiro saying, Rius, Rainer, with then Rainer saying, Master Shiro, we understand for the past couple of days you have been feeling a lot more distant. So we want to know if there's, with then Shiro placing a hand up saying, Rainer, Rius, I'm sorry. Sorry if I've been worrying the both of you, and at least even Konako as well. For that, I I want to find a way to to make sure that you that I can make it up to you. So by telling you about certain things about my life. So, but first, I need to tr I need to find a good workout and training schedule for Sona and her peerage. So at least give me some time for that. Then after that, I'll explain everything. So please, can you wait? Within hear hearing this, soon both girls couldn't help but smile at each other. Out before soon, looking before having that of a look of disgust and annoyance, before looking back at Shiro saying, "Yeah, we can wait. Just don't take too long, okay, Shiro? I don't." It's it's pretty rude to keep a girl waiting, with especially an heiress such as myself. With then soon, Shiro couldn't help but smirk at the antics of both both of them, saying, "Yeah, you got it." After that, putting on his shoes, sliding the door, and then heading out of his home. With then heading to the outskirts of Kuo, but soon. However, Romulus saw Shiro leaving, saying, I guess it's time. This time I will not hesitate to kill you, old friend. With then soon jumping from another building to a rooftop of a house and heading to Shiro's direction. However, soon another figure see, also seeing on what's going on and saying, Oh my, looks like... For, it looks like Romulus is on the move again. I better make sure that things don't go a little bit hectic, especially the fact that he's going to be dragging innocence in this battle. Well, can't be helped. Let's do this. When soon, the person disappears into that of rose petals. With then soon, the, as Shiro arrives at the at the area to meet with Sona her peerage. As everybody soon shows up, with then soon Sona saying, Shiro kun, with then saying, Sona, glad to see everybody's here. Su Subaki, uh, Subaki senpai, uh, Momo senpai, Riai senpai, and Tomo Tomoe chan, Ri Ryuko chan, and Saji kun, and Saji kun, with then such saying, Hey senpai, uh. You doing okay, man? I mean, I saw you were helping us out at the student council for a couple of days, but you seemed a lot more distant, you know? With then, soon, Momo saying, Saji, Ch Saji Kun, I think you should quiet before soon saying, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I have figured that you all have been worried about me since that night. So, 
I'll explain everything. But before I do that, I want to start help. I need to help you guys out and train. So I need to see what you're all capable of. Whatever your magic abilities, uh, weapon, skill with that of weapons, and also even sacred gears as well. Show me what you can do, and I'll see what I can do for with then before Shiro could finish. A lot. One of Romulus's energy spears began to began to be launched down and explodes between them. With then ev everyone in Sona's parish began to be shocked. Before soon, Sona saying, "What the? What's going on?" Was that with then Spucky saying that spear? Was that a? What, are we being attacked by fallen angels again? With then Momo getting back up. Before soon, seeing Shiro saying, eh, "Shiro Kun." With soon she heading to Shiro. Before soon Shiro braces his hand up saying, Stay back, Momo! With then saying, What? But saying, <laughs> Sorry about this. I really was trying my best to keep the civilians out of this. However, keeping you off, but making sure to keep you off guard is my best chance. My apology. With then, Rymerlin shows himself in his golden armor glory and, and all. With Sue saying, Damn you, Romulus. You just had to attack me now. What happened to attacking me before? Saying, You were on high alert during that time. And I figured during this time you would be a lot more on e you a lot ease. And I could see why. With soon looking at Sona's peerage as sensing their magic, saying, And they're all devils. Well, many of them are reincarnated devils besides the girl, besides the, the short girl with the with that of the black bob cut and glasses is a pure pure blood devil. I see. So these are the people that you care deeply about, Emia. With then soon. Saji saying, What the this guy knows Senpai? Who is hey! Emmy Hey Emia Senpai, who the hell is this guy? With then Sh Romney saying, and you haven't even told him about me. <laughs> Secretive as always, and keeping espe especially important details that can that that you can involve those who you hold dear. Saying, uh, Romulus, sh I was a just about saying, I am an old comrade of your friend of your friend here. Saying, wit then saying, all of them shocked and surprised. Saying, him and I used to be parts of an organization known as Caldea. We would we. Were the pre preservation and, and heroes of humanity, protecting the world from those who would have that would cause it harm. That is who we are. With then hearing this, soon, Subaki saying, "If that, if you, the two of you were old comrades, then why are you trying to kill him now?" As for Tomoe saying, "I agree. What what did Senpai do to cause you, cause you all this trouble?" Why do you want to kill him now? With then soon Romulus saying, huh, it's quite simple, really. It's because he is a danger to this world. With so now he has become a threat, an enemy, a target of of keeping the world safe. With then hearing this, all of the girls, including Saji, were completely utterly shocked at this. But then, Shiro saying, he's, he's telling a half-truth. He's not telling them everything. Why is he... With then, soon, Shiro saying, no. No, you can't be serious. So it isn't just a liar wanting me to keep the secret about the Holy Grail. Gaia does the same way? Why? This is the perf... If she wants to protect this world from... If she wants to allow this world to continue to be free... Why not tell the people about the throne of heroes? Why not tell them about the about the constant heroes who have become summoned and servants throughout generations and centuries? If this is the one world where the Holy Grail War never existed, why? With then soon, Shiro's eyes whining, saying, "The era of gods never ended, and humanity lives in lives in coexistence with them." However. There are still people who are hungry for power, and it's not just humans, but other races, such as devils and fallen angels. 
if they found out about the throne of heroes, that means with soon she'll she'll sink. They're trying to make sure that nobody has connection to the to, to the throne of heroes in this world. I don't know because if they try, then with soon Rami sink. So you've come to that realization, haven't you, Emiya? Now you know why your existence must be must be put to an end. Why you must die with soon creating his mo- is one of his mana blades with then soon walking to Shiro with then Sh- Sa- Saji can up and say, "Oh no you don't." With then bringing out his absorption line, his sacred gear with then throwing the inner the magic like whip towards Romulus' arm. Within, Romulus begins to feel his mana being drained from Saji's sacred gear of of being parts of Ritra, the prison the, the prison dragon, with then saying, Huh, I see. So this is what a sacred gear is like. Especially I cannot interesting, interesting. No Hitler hero has had an ability such as this. I have to say, well, besides a few heroic spirits with the ability to absorb, I gotta say, quite interesting. With then soon, Subaki and also Su- Subasa also begin to rush towards R- Romulus as Subasa tries to prepare her fist and slam it down towards the first emperor of Rome. With then soon, Su- as for Tomoe preparing her preparing her katana to slice Romulus in half, however soon he bur- he has that of a burst of mana coming from his body, before soon having one of his blades cut absorption line, knocking Saji back on his butt. With then Subasa and Tomoe knocked out from the burst alone. With then, so- with then Romulus walking back towards Shiro. With then a barrier soon erupting around the heroic spirit, with then Romulus was actually shocked and intrigued. Before soon, water began to erupt around him, as it being Sona's water barrier, as it being also amplified by by Rei and her ma- and her magic elemental magic as well, with using her exorcist abil- using her mage abilities. With then saying, ah, interesting, quite interesting, I have to say, especially from a pure blood devil with this much control over water. This must be due to that of the of the Citri of the Citri's clan ability to manipulate both water and ice in the air in the in the atmosphere. Quite so, quite interesting. But with then Sue slicing through the barrier before soon. Feeling his own attack right towards him, as it came from so from Subaki's sacred gear, Mirror Alice saying, "And my own attack ascended back at me. Not bad, not bad indeed." With then soon, as the, however, it was only a one-time use before Subaki can charge, as prepare, as then giving her a chance to use her Naginato before soon Ryukai doing the, jumping in as well. As she prepares that of a downward axe kick onto, on onto Romulus, getting an opening from Sona's aqua barrier, with then soon Romulus saying, "But not even worth my time." With Sue throwing one of his one of his energy spears up into the air, as it missed Ryukai, as she soon, well, stunned for a little bit before soon. The, the bright light began to shine as then multiple energy spears began to rain down onto the girls with then soon Suba, as then all of the girls were being str- struck down by the energy spears with even those who are already knocked out also being struck as well. However, surprisingly, none of them were hit in vital organs with then Shiro saying, stop! Let, leave them alone! You're after me, not them! With then saying, they were standing in my way, 
Personally, I take no pleasure in harming innocents. After all, an emperor should not harm those who are not truly my enemy and not a threat to that of, my, of those who are in charge. With then saying, huh? As he soon noticed that the barrier was still up in front of Shiro and Shiro's already in his heroic spirit form with Momo still in, still conscious and, re- and still having and still feeling her magic towards the barrier. But then Shiro saying, Momo, please stop. You don't have to keep on doing this. Let down your barrier. With then she saying, I, I can't. I refuse. I don't. I don't want to see you get hurt. I don't. I don't want to see you die. With then saying, Ah, uh, kind hearted girl. Even with this barrier, it was basically nothing she could you could do to stop me. With then preparing another energy blade, with then piercing the barrier, just shattering it entirely. With this, soon Shiro was able to get out as well and prepare Baki and Kinshiro. As he soon looks around and sees Sona's peerage destroyed and basically battered by the the grand ser, grand servant lancer with saying damn it damn it damn it damn it you fucking bastard how could you how could you involve them into this with saying i didn't involve them you did with soon shiro's eyes whining saying what no i you involved them you became attached to them you chose to become friends with them. So this is not my fault. This is your fault. No, and no one else's to blame but you. With then she was saying, damn it, damn it. As much as I want to want to say no, that it isn't. He's not wrong. It is my fault. If I wasn't close to any of them, if I didn't choose to be helpful or choose to be nice to them or even try to befriend them, none of this, none of this would have happened. I would have, none of them would be hurt. Uh, they would. With then Sona saying, Shiro. With then, saying, as then hearing Sona's voice, as saying, Shiro, don't blame yourself. Even if you didn't get you involved in this, we would have been involved with you. We would many you forget that us devils are selfish and prideful creatures, basically embodiment of sin. Even if you didn't want to be involved with us, we would most likely definitely get involved with you. Even if you wanted to be neutral and help us, even if you didn't want to do any of that, we would still want to find a way to know you more. Know who you are. And not only that, knowing who you are, none of us regret it. Especially me. I don't. And I and not just me. Momo and Subaki can agree to that as well. With hearing this, Sh- Shiro's eyes widening, saying, <laughs> It seems like you truly have become close to their hearts. <sighs> I have to say... It's truly a shame. Now that I had to kill you, it means now that they'll be more sad and when, when they have to mourn your life. With soon, Shiro hearing this, before soon get, getting angry and preparing to fight. With then saying, just try it, you bastard. I swear it, I, I won't die. I won't let them suffer. With saying, huh, you say that. You say that you have the chance to live a normal life, but yet, what about Rico? With then soon, Shiro saying, what? Why are you bringing her up? Why are you bringing up the the former master of Chaldea? Saying, well, I mean, why not? I mean, she was just like you, same person. You both, both barely have any magic, magic circuits whatsoever. Barely had any talent in magic, what, how any, and yet both of you wanted to help others, protect the world, and save lives, and yet 
where you basically gave up after becoming a counter guardian after cert after many years and, and basically became broken. She, on the other hand, continued to wanting to help others even after being persecuted and labeled that of a, of a witch. She continued to stand up and did what's right to the very end, even, even at the end of her death. And yet you have the right to choose. And yet somebody like you, somebody who has done nothing but give up, has the right to stand, has the right to stand and have a new life where she doesn't. Don't make me laugh. If, and, if, and I'm not just the only one who felt like this. Many of us former servants of Chaldea feel the same way. If she, many of us would prefer if she had the second chance of life and not you. So now I'm, t I'm putting an end to this false sense of life that you think you have entitled to. With then, she, Romulus preparing his blade, his blade once again with Sud, Jiro, and Shot once more before then as he's about to pierce him before many of the girls scream out no before some of them shock and surprise and Saji soon screaming out senpai move before however it was almost too late before soon a burst of rose petals began to and go began to block the attack within Romulus stepping back before saying what the what why would Wait, those roses saying, ha 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 ho, looks like I made it in time. But I, but every, but everyone knows the hero must show up fashionably late after, after, after a heated debate of words and philosophies was suit was, th was thrown out with then she was saying, wait, that voice, that pop, that annoying, cheesy and somewhat in irritating voice saying aw that's pretty rude to hear from you Emia and I thought for sure that we were really good friends with then the, the figure soon appeared from rose petals as they wearing that of a of a cloak of white with that of many feathers across of the top of his of the top of his cloak how wielding a staff with that of multiple ribbons however the ribbons are also are tying nets of mul of other staffs together, with one with the. However, there being a hidden blade inside of it. Not only that, his skin being pale white, with also having that of snow white hair, and that of lavender eyes. This being, the the man, the myth, the legend, the one who guided King Arthur to Caliburn. This being Merlin with soon Merlin, Shiro saying, Merlin, the hell are you doing here? With then Romulus saying, Merlin. So you have, so you have, so you are one of the traitors. <sighs> you bastard. Saying, <laughs> sorry, sorry, but I don't, I do somewhat agree with you. Ritsuko does deserve a second life. However, knowing her, she wouldn't want her old friends and servants tearing themselves apart just because of that. Just because one of us actually did get that second chance of life. So, are you, so you want to continue this, Romulus? With then, as then, looking back at Shiro saying, Emia, now is not the time to space out. If you want to make sure that those girls and that young man are safe, we're going to have to defeat Romulus here and now. But saying, but so so would it be? Allow me to do all the hard work while you get those girls out of here, or help me take him take him out now, and then we can find a way to find a way to save them as well. With then Shiro clenching it, clenching bah, clenching Kinshiro in his hands tightly, before soon getting ready in, into that of a battle stance as he soon switches to, ba to, to Bakia into that of a reverse grip before saying, let's get this over with. They need, they need to be, I need to make sure that they're properly healed and I know somebody that can do it. 
Sing. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Now, let us begin, Counter Guardian Emia. With and sing. Fine, Grandcaster M Merlin. With soon, both unlikely allies began to fight against a common foe. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. So, what did you like this, how you like this chapter? I believe this is one of the most emotional chapters I have ever done in my entire life. Hell, I don't even think my fanfics have ever been this emotional. I think the closest thing to emotional was one of, was the remake of my villain Deku What If on my main channel. So yeah. Any rate, if you guys like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to keep up to date my videos when I update on the channel. Also hit that like button, which really, really helps out the channel a lot. Proves that you guys like my content and YouTube will offer it more to people, given that they've changed the algorithm so fucking much now. Also, check out my Discord, gaming channel, main channel, and Patreon. I'll link in the description below. So, with all that said, this is Yamuki signing out. Later, guys, and I hope you all take care.